Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm going to ask you how you're doing, and I want you to say, I was good before, but I'm even better now. How are you doing? I know that's right. <laughs> it's the positivity for me. <laughs> Today we're going to be discussing finding you in what you do. I think some people in here know what I'm talking about. Finding you in itself is a good goal to have. But for professionals like ourselves, finding you in what you do is better and the ultimate goal because it amalgamates our outer with our inner. It takes our learned skills and logic and harmonizes it with our imagination and creativity. And what I found is that when you find you in what you do, you don't have to sacrifice either part of yourself. You ultimately create your own utopia because when you take your education and integrate it with who you are on the inside, it just, wow, it renovates the mind. It creates new pathways that cause you to continuously evolve. And now that you're completely connected, you bypass unfulfillment and stagnation and replace those negative symptoms of unbalance with passion and purpose. Even Oprah Winfrey says the whole point of being alive is to evolve into the complete person you intend to be. So I'm going to get in your business a little bit. <laughs> Do you want to evolve into the complete person you intended to be? If your answer is yes, then it is time to connect who you are with what you do in order to experience this thing called your own utopia. But first, you have to know your why. Why do you want to evolve? Is it because you want to be at your best? Well, why do you want to be at your best? Is it because you want to be happy? Why do you want to be happy? Is that because you want to be fulfilled in life? Why do you want to be fulfilled in life? Could that be because you want to walk in your destiny? Why do you want to walk in your destiny? Is that because you want to live your life's purpose? Why do you want to live your life's purpose? Is that possibly because you want your life's work to feel complete when life ends? Why is life work and why does it end and why is it complete? I think for us, simultaneously, we can say because patience, right? So you want to... Uh, that exercise that I just shared with you is an example of the seven levels of why. By asking yourself why seven times preceding the previous question, you get down to the real root of why. So if you're sitting here or you're on live and you're thinking, I can't find me in what I do, I want you to know that you are capable of doing more than you think you can. I know it doesn't seem like you're in the right position to evolve, but I'm here to help you readjust your mental ergonomics. I had an instructor in hygiene school, and uh, during clinic, she would walk past our stations and observe our ergonomics. And when she'd get to me, if she could explain it, I, she would probably say I looked as if I was trying to find a single bacterium, only using the naked eye. <laughs> and she would walk past me and say, hold your head up, Cornwall. I still get teased for that to this day. But I thought I was only learning ergonomics. But it would come to be that those four words, hold your head up, would be a pillar in finding you in what you do. Because how many of us know that it's a journey? And in order to get to a connection, you have to get through the journey. You see, I was introduced to my creative side during childhood. Uh, by the time I was 10 years old, fun fact, I had sang the national anthem for the Tampa Bay Rays MBL. And by high school, I sang for Walt Disney World. <laughs> Don't make me sing later. <laughs> 
And um, I had completely written off, well, I deemed myself a full creative and completely wrote off any possibilities of uh, any careers that would be left brain dominant. So can you imagine how that went for me when I was like, oh, I like dentistry <laughs> and grew up and applied for dental hygiene school? I mean, oh, my God, as a creative, I couldn't paint my nails for like three years. It was ridiculous. <laughs> no, it was really, really hard for me. I was the first person in my class to get a C on my end of semester reports. I was the student that studied the longest and still got the lowest grade. But can everybody help me say, hold your head up, Cornwall. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a semester and I'm away from home in a different state going to school. And my grandmother, she passes away in the middle of a semester and uh, I can't make it to her funeral. Somebody say, hold your head up, Cornwall. I'm trying. Okay. I get to last semester, senior year. My midterm patient for clinic does not show up. Everybody knows how stressful that can be, right? I, uh, my instructors, they're still worried that I won't be able to graduate with my original class and or and they're still worried that I may not be able to pass my board exams on the first uh, go round. But somebody say, hold your head up, Cornwall. Hold your head up, Cornwall. All right. I get to finals last semester. That clinic exam, I make 100%. I get to board exams, I pass both, first attempt. I get to graduation, and I walk with my original class. <laughs> Shout out to Flossie Posse. All right. <laughs> But what happens next is most important because, because I got through that journey, I was able to connect. I found me in what I do. I became a self-published children's book author and released my first dental children's book that teaches kids all around the world about oral hygiene. <laughs> and it's great for the parents. They're like, thank you. <laughs> but... It, so you can find you in what you do, even if you don't think you can. And if you need any other examples of finding you in what you do, look around you. This conference is the direct manifestation and the epitome of just that. Taking your vocation, adding your advocation, and eventually going on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I read a quote once that said, good, better, best. Never let it rest until good is better and better is your best. Now, in the beginning of this speech, I asked you how you were doing. And you told me that you were good before, but you're even better now. So the next step is for everyone to go out and be their best by knowing the ultimate goal, which is finding you and what you do. Knowing your why. And through your journey, hold your head up because it is so worth it in the end. I did it. I'm still doing it. And you can do it, too. I am grateful for a sharing time today. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>